now we will solve problems on resolution and composition of forces resolution and composition of forces okay So problem number one, find the resultant of the coplanar concurrent force system shown in figure. Okay, there is coplanar concurrent force system. Means all the forces are lying in the same plane and uh, line of action of all the forces are meeting at a single point. That is called as coplanar concurrent system of forces. Okay, for this we have to find the resultant. Okay, resultant of the coplanar concurrent system of forces. Okay. So first step is to write the components for all the inclined forces. This is the first step. Okay. So when solving the problems, remember whenever there is an inclined force given in the problem, first step is to write components for that inclined force. Okay. Then uh, we can solve the rest of the problem. Now we here uh, we have 300 newton force which is inclined at an angle of 40 degree with the x-axis so its horizontal component will be 300 cos 40 and vertical component 300 sin 40 okay and uh, here we have one more vertical for one more inclined force 400 newton inclined at an angle of, angle of 60 degree for this horizontal component will be 400 cos 60 vertical component 400 sin 60 okay so this is the first step now we will find sum of forces sum of forces in x direction sigma fx means we need to add all the forces which are acting along the x direction so here we have one force acting in x direction that is acting in left direction sin is minus 3 minus 300 cos 40 minus 300 cos 40 then uh, here we have one horizontal force acting in right direction plus 400 cos 60 plus 400 cos 60 then one more horizontal force 300 newton force which is acting in right direction plus 300 that's it plus 300 okay so on answer for this is 270.187 newton 270.187 newton sigma fx similarly we will find sigma fi that is sum of forces in y direction sum of forces in y direction so here we have 300 sin 40 acting in y direction that is acting in upward direction if it is upward sin is plus plus 300 sin 40 then one more vertical force 400 sin 60 acting in upward direction sin is plus plus 400 sin 60 plus 400 sin 60 then uh, we have one vertical force here 200 newton acting in downward direction minus 200 minus 200 okay so answer for this is 339.246 newton 339.246 newton okay now we can find the resultant force we have the formula r is equal to r is equal to root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square substitute root of 270.187 square plus 339.246 square so if you solve the answer it will be 433.7 newton by this you got magnitude of the resultant force along with this you should also find direction of the resultant force that is theta so we know the formula for that theta is equal to 
tan inverse of sigma f y by sigma f x. Therefore, tan inverse of sigma f y is 339.246 divided by sigma f x is 270.187. By this, we will get the direction of the resultant force that is 51.47 degrees. Okay. So, this completes the problem. We have determined magnitude and direction of the resultant force. Thank you.